Let's now go back to the positions tab to see how the trade is performing. So if I go back to positions, look at Netflix, under my PL open, looks like slightly drawing down about $10. If I want to close or roll up my positions, I can simply left click on each side of my spread. And once I have both of these legs selected and right click, a menu will pop out. So I can either close the position, close at a certain percent of profit, or roll it out right here. Now, if you group your positions by order chains right here, you may have it on symbol. Just left click here and adjust it to order chains. It will group your positions by the strategy. So since we open it as a vertical, it labels my Netflix trade as a vertical. And if I right click on the word vertical, it automatically selects both legs and then the same menu will pop out. So if you're doing an iron condor or butterfly, you don't want to select all three of those legs. You can just right click on the strategy and it will automatically select both of those contracts. And if I select roll expirations, maybe I want to move it out to next week, which is the 26th. It looks like it will cost $1.23 debit. So this takes us automatically back to the order ticket. And if you look in the bottom left corner for our contract details, you see that we're closing the January 19th, then buying to open next week's expiration, which is January 26th. Again, I can make adjustments to the order ticket if I want to move my price up or down. So if I want to get filled, maybe I want to try 1.50. Click review and send. Make sure that everything is okay. Correct account, correct order, commissions and fees are okay. And then I'm going to send the order. There we go. So I typed in 1.50, but I got filled at 1.28. So I went back to activity. It shows the price I entered at 1.5, but we got a better fill at 1.28 right there. Let's go back to positions tab. So since we just rolled it out and we're on the topic of rolling options and option spreads, I want to quickly introduce everyone to a feature we have at Tasty Trade called order chains. So this is located on the right side panel here. So order chains will track your option positions from when you initially open them to when you roll them out or make any adjustments and then when you close it. And this is really nice because if you often roll your positions, unless you're keeping a spreadsheet, it can be difficult to determine how much you're up or down since you open the position. But with the order chains features, the platform will automatically keep track of this for you. So let me have Netflix up here. The order chains. So you can see that originally when we opened the trade, we paid a 73 cent debit. We rolled it out for $1.28. So this is the current open position. And right now we're still drawing down about 11 bucks. In addition, if we go back to the positions tab and I look at all these other positions that we have, you see that order chains will keep track of all your strategies. And if you have any rolls or adjustments done to them. So these are calendars. This was a part of a custom spread that was probably closed out, another calendar like that. So we'll post a link in the chat to our help center that will cover the order chains in more details for anyone who may find this useful. Or you can, again, click on the question mark icon right here, and this will bring you to our help center. And you can type in order chains and enter, and then you'll see an article or resource right there. Okay. Now for anyone who would like to see a visual representation of the profit or loss and break even zones of a spread, this can be done in analysis mode. So after you selected the legs of your trade, for example, on Netflix, that vertical, and when we right click, we're not gonna close the position, but we're gonna select analysis. Whoops, there we go. So there we have the profit zones. And as you're moving your cursor left and right, you'll see the theoretical profit and loss, depending on where the underlying is trading at. So this is in reference to where the underlying stock is. And then you'll see that if I move it to 615, the theoretical profit and loss is about a loss of 550.